Hello, my friends, and welcome back to another episode of Sky Factory 2.5. Yes, we're on Sky Factory 2.5, and someday I'll learn how to say five right. All right, last episode, we built this mob spawner, and we still have a little bit more work to do to it, and a few things to explain that I did wrong in the last episode, and I didn't think about it until afterwards, and it was too late. All right, let's get to it real quickly. Man, how you like my pretty wall? That was to protect me at one point. <laughs> Because what happened is the conveyor belts. Watch this. Everyone in here will get killed by the mob grinder. There's no need for the conveyor belts to push them up here to the front. So we really, really, really don't need the conveyor belts. Um, the other thing, the conveyor belts, the mobs were falling through the conveyor belts. They were glitching through and they'd end up on the floor below. Or they would glitch through the walls. And I don't know if you remember part of the last episode, there was a zombie that almost killed me right here. Um, it's because he glitched through the wall because of the conveyor belts. Um, it took me a little while to figure that out. I had actually doubled the size of the walls, a doubled thickness. That solved a little bit. Put slabs on the bottom, on, on the roof down below. And then I thought, you know, it's the conveyor belts. And I thought, I don't really need the conveyor belts. That was just a waste of our time. So I apologize about that. So no conveyor belts. The other thing is a waste of our time uh, when we, I got you know, completely stranded on the damn leather thing. It was on the books. I got focused down here on the bottom about the leather, and I didn't even think about Tinker's Construct. You don't need leather. Just use Tinker's Construct and some string. And the blank patterns are really simple to make. So I don't know why I was stressed over that so much. But, you know, I was focused here and didn't think about this. So I apologize about that. All right, one other thing I want to hit before we get going is also added slabs up here. Or, excuse me, signs. That way the mobs, when they see it, this is the theory, um, when they see this, the, they think there's a full block here, so they'll walk off and fall down a lot easier. There was no signs there. So the signs make them think there's a block, and they'll just fall right down. Uh, I believe that's the theory of it. And someone asked me about why I did this farm the way I did it. And it's, I tried to make one not big, not small, just, just a medium-sized one, because to me... These things are a mid-game to a beginning, beginning game thing. And after the end game, they, they become a nuisance because they got so, we get so many drops. We don't need all the stuff. And it ends up creating lag. So that's why I created it this way. I could have used lights, but I thought, you know, water is a lot easier. And the only downside to the water... Actually, let's fix this real quick. The only downside to the water is some redstone. Is when you flush it out the um, Endermen will go everywhere. So that's the only bad thing. Let's get this off the wall real quick. I'm going to put some redstone right here. And we're going to put our button on this side. There we go. Now we click it, and we got a red signal going through there. See, uh, now we just got an Enderman, and he teleported down there, so we have to be careful not to look at him, and I almost just did that. So that's the only downfall to having water up there as an Enderman. Um, when it's just no water up there, they will automatically come down. Did I turn the water back off? Let's leave it on for a minute. Just flush out. That way you don't have to listen to all the mobs as we talk about what we're doing next. I thought I had more stuff up there. Maybe they flushed out. Got a few spiders, that's it. So we're going to have to listen to the spiders, I guess. Yeah. All right. We're going to turn it back off. Now, what are we going to do today? We are going to make this into a better storage area. We're going to get some better barrels and we're going to lay them all out here. A total of 18. So what do we need for today's episode? This is what we need for the, the original 18 barrels. This is for the upgrades and this is to connect them all. And we learned how to make the item conduct. Conduit? Conduct? Conduct? I don't know why I can't say that right. We made this stuff in the last episode and it's really simple now that we got some ender pearls coming in. And I think I have a few in the chest. Yeah, I got one right now. So we are getting the Enderman. And I also got the farm going real good with the Ender Lilies. All right, so we are getting Ender Pearls. That's a good thing. This is what you need just for the chest. Um, if you don't have any chest already pre-made, I had these pre-made. Um, let's see, we, if you don't have the chest, you're going to need four, let's see, um, eight, 16, I think 20 more oak planks, oak logs, excuse me. I think you'll need to add 20 to this if you don't have this already made. All right, I need eight more, so we're going to go ahead and make two sets of this. One, two. That'll give me eight of those. Uh, yeah, eight, 18. Here, we're going to put 18 chests here. We're going to put 18 half slabs on top. And then we're going to surround it with oak. 
and hopefully my mouse works this time. Sometimes it doesn't work. It's really weird. Yep, see it glitched out. I don't know what the deal is with this thing, but okay. There you go. There's seven. There's some more. Yeah, this is the craziest way of doing things, isn't it? Let's see if it'll get these real quick. There you go. Three. Come on, three. There we go. So now we have our 18 chests. I'm going to take those and I'll lay out half of them, the first nine. This is my plan. And we're going to just lay them here in the floor instead of on the wall. That way it doesn't obstruct our view of anything. And then we're going to do two more rows going back. And the reason I'm doing one row at a time, I don't want them to face the wrong way. If I'm right above them, they should work better. All right, so that, and then as soon as we get them done, we're going to shift, actually, I need to get off the barrel. Shift, right, click on each other, and we're going to lock it to nothing. That way, stuff won't automatically go into it when we turn this on, and we can manually put stuff in it that we want. You'll see. You'll see in a minute. All right, let me get the other side, and I'll be right back. All right, I have both sets of barrels, so that's a total of 18. Now, they're not connected yet. We'll get to that in just a few minutes. I'm going to go ahead and lay out the items that I want and how I want them laid out in there. Um, the first thing I want is the common bag. Let's get this out of the way. And then I want the uncommon bag. And then I want the rare bag. Let's see what else. Do we have any other bags here? Let's go ahead and we can get this and the zombie brains. And you see, common. I'm going to hit shift, right click, and it puts it in there. I should. Oh, just right click. There you go. And then we're going to do the uncommon and then the rare. And I think I'm going to try to get all these into bags except for these two here. We're going to use these to make dirt later. It's the last thing we're going to do in the episode. We're going to convert this into dirt. And let me go ahead and lay out the rest of the stuff that we have, and I'll be right back. All right, this is how I got it laid out right now, and I think I have four extra slots. I'm going to use those probably for bags. There's, there's some other, like three other bags. I'm not really sure what I'll use for that one yet. There is more stuff in here. This will automatically feed into it in just a few minutes. I will show you how to do that, how it works in a minute. And basically this. Do whatever you want, however you want to do it. This is like my most important things that I like. So I put them right up front. And the bags, we just that's a maintenance thing. So we're going to have to go through that. We'll build an automated activator, uh, actuator to recycle through these. I'll show you how to do that. I saw a video on it. It looked really cool. So we'll get to that later on in another episode. But let's go ahead and finish up connecting everything. Do I have... I thought I saw my pipe from there. Alright, so we're going to go do this, and then we're going to do some upgrades as soon as we get everything done here. So basically, we're going to take this item conduit that we made last... or I made in between episodes, and shift, shift right click on each one of these things. And let's go ahead and we'll do the first nine real quick. And now we have to go through each one of them, and, and on the gray area, or the black area, right click on it, and we need to change this to insert. And you'll notice the arrows go from facing down to facing up. That shows which one's insert. And let me go through all these. And let me do the other side real quick. And I'll be right back. Alright, I have all these set up to insert. Now there's two other things I want to show you. One here. Let's just get on the gray area, the black area. We can disable it. I don't know if we need to or not. We can do insert or disable. But we don't need to take an out because that will make a loop. So I just disabled them. Now on this one here, it's already on extract because it's coming out of the chest. We need to turn the red signal off. I just want to show you the chest before I do that. That way you see how it all works. This is the chest. Everything's filled in. Let's go ahead and put the stuff that takes a while to sort out. That way you can see it go a lot faster. Down here. And one more down here. There we go. Let's go ahead and turn on the red signal. So you're going to hit right click on it. Turn off the red signal. I could just use the lever, I guess, and turned it on. But that's alright. Alright, now you should see it automatically going out. Well, it's starting down here. So you can see everything's now sorting into the barrels. I was hoping to start at the top and go quicker. And you can see it's already gotten some of these bags and all this stuff. Alright, now, out of all this stuff, we're going to have to upgrade a couple of these barrels. Uh, the ones that I know we're going to have to do, and I'll do these off camera... These will fill up really, really quick. And once they get filled up, I just want them to go to the void because we really don't need more than 64 stacks of uh, bones or 64 stacks of arrows. You know, that's just a lot. 
Um, the one, so we'll do those to void, and I'll show you that in a minute. And we're going to go ahead and increase the size of these to like three times. Because right now they only hold 64 bags. So we're going to, to uh, add three, and I think that'll end up coming up to, including the, the one we have here, it'll add another three. So I think it'll come up to 256 bags that it can handle before it gets full and it starts overflowing. And I must have done something wrong with that one. Just check on it real quick because it's not going out. Or did I do a the wrong bag on it? What does it say? Common looting bag. I am not sure why it's not going in there. Common looting bag. All right, uh, maybe I got one that's already open. Let's see. Nope. All right, I'll check on that in just a minute. We'll figure that one out. I'll uh, put this one back in here. Get to the upgrades before we go anywhere. I'll put it right back in. It, something's different between that one. It might be because it's already open. Just see. Let's turn off the red signal. Uh, sorry, I have to fix this now. Turn off the red signal. Or turn on where it has to have the red signal. There we go. And we'll reset this thing here. Check that one out. And get empty, shift right click, now it goes to zero. Let's go ahead and get this one and see what it does. And we'll turn the red signal back on. Or off. There it goes. So there's just something different. Maybe I opened that bag and it was an open bag. So let's go ahead and look at it. Eh, something exciting. All right, we'll put that one in there. It will not get sucked in because it's been opened already. It's only the ones that have not been opened will go in there automatically. All right, so upgrades are next. Let's talk about that. Let's go to Java. Sounds like Star Wars, doesn't it? Java. Whoops, not Java. Java. Ah, all right, there we go. All right, let's see if I can explain these, this upgrade with these barrels. I want to multiply it by three. And if you look in the middle of the screen, it says slot shoes three. So we need to open three slots in each barrel. And if you look at the barrel right now in the bottom right, it says, it does it say, it doesn't say slots in there, does it? Upgrade slot zero of zero. So we need to have three of three in there. And to get the upgrade slots, we have to use these things here. Here's one plus two, that equals three. So we need two of these and two of these to open two barrels to three slots. Now once we get the three slots open, then we can put the upgrade into it. So just work on the upgrading the slots first. To get the slots, it's really not much material. It's fences and um, planks, and it's also iron and fences. So we need to do that real quick. So let's go ahead and make some fences. We need, let's see how many do I need? I need 16 fences. And then we're going to put, let's see I said planks. So we're going to put one, two, three, four. No, nope, we don't need four. Two, because the fences are for both upgrades. One, two. So we got the two and number ones. Now we need to take iron. And that'll give us two number twos. So now these will have three open slots. And of course I need to bring them down here. And we're going to take the first slot and we're going to shift right click on it. And I'll give it one. And then we're going to shift right click on that one. That'll give it one. Then we're going to shift right click on this and that'll give it a total of three. If you see that right there in the center, three. I think it disappears after that. Yep. So now they both have three slots available. And if you look at the GUI on the right, it says um, upgrade slots three dash slash three. So we have three slots available. Now we need to make the upgrade things here. And it takes three of these things to get three open barrels in there, three times the storage. So we're going to need a total of six of these. So this is the recipe, just multiply it by 6, so we need 6 better barrels and 12 pistons. So just go ahead and put 12 here, 12 there, 12 there, and then right there. And now we got 12 pistons, and we need to make the better barrels. So we need 6 all together, so I need 4 more barrels. So we got 6 barrels, 6 slabs. And we'll put that around the top here. And now we got six more better barrels. Put that in the middle and split this in half by right clicking on it. Now we have six of these bad boys. And that'll make two of these up, um, storage upgrades of three. Okay. 
Now we're going to take that and we're going to shift right click on each one. And if we look at the GUI in the bottom right, it says we now have 19 filled of 256. So it'll hold up to 256 items now. So that would that, that should take care of those two things. Now if you wanted to upgrade to the void one, let's look at the void one real quick. It uses, is that the right, no, infinite. No, void, void, that's what I want. It uses two slots. I'm not sure if you can use two number ones or if you have to use a number one and a number two. I apologize. Um, but then you have to add this one, which is obsidian. You know what? Why don't we try that real quick? Let me, I'll be right back. Let me get the stuff together. Okay, let's see if I have everything we need. We are going to need... I'm going to try this with the two upgrades. I don't know if you can add them that way or not, but we'll try. But right now we need 24 more sticks, 14 oak, uh, oak planks, 8 cobblestones, uh, obsidian, uh, iron, and some redstone. So let's go ahead and make the fences real quick. This should make 8. There we go. And then we need this. There we go. So that should make two upgrades. Let's see if it does it that way. If this will be two. Let's do the this one bones first. One. Whoops. Shift. One. Did it add two? Nope, nope, nope. You have to do a three, too. So you'll have to do a one and three, so you'll have an extra slot. So let me go ahead and get the stuff to do the this one here. So to get the two slots, you have to use a one and a two, which is a total of three. So now I have to do the fences again with some iron. All right, let me get that together, and I'll be right back. <laughs> okay, I believe I have everything now for the open the two more slots or two more barrels, and for two of these void pipes. All right, let's go ahead and get this one first. It is... Hit shift. We need to make the fences. So that should give us how many? Eight fences. That should be good. So we're doing two of these. And then we need the iron. Alright, so that gives me two of these slots to get it up over two. So we're going to hit shift, right click, shift, right click. They have three, but we only need two. So let's go ahead and make the void stuff. The void is going to need some pistons. I got four pistons. I need to get some more redstone. I have some here, so that should help. There's that. Let's get some redstone. Shift one, two. That should be enough. Right click on that, Greg. There we go. Now we have our four pistons. We're going to take the four pistons, two here, two here, obsidian in the middle, and we get our void upgrade. Now we're going to go over here and shift right click on it. And now we have the void. So now these things are unlimited. Um, oh, actually, they're not unlimited. Once they get 4,096 items in it, anything over that will just get automatically stuck into the void. So there you go. That, that helps a little bit. All right, next thing we're going to do is we're going to turn this into dirt. And let me get all the supplies for that, and I'll be right back. Quick, quick update. We have this completely filled out now and ready to go. We are getting all kinds of goodies out of it. Let's see, here's the chest. I um, automatically have the item conduit connected to this now, and it's now feeding, and I also use the energy. I don't know if you can see it from the side here. Actually, let's go down there real quick. I have it automatically feeding into the chest now. So I got rid of the old stuff, and you can see the new stuff in here. Here's the uh, energy and then the conduit on the top. And this is what we got so far for this Minutio. So it is now automatically generating the stuff for us. We got some ender pearls coming. It is a beautiful thing, dude. All right, so where were we? Well, all right, we're going to make automate dirt, and we're going to take this thing apart real quick because we're going to use all of these this stuff. And let me get all that together, and I'll be right back. All right, let's make some dirt. We're going to take the zombie flesh right here. Actually, it's right here, and have it dump over here. So we're going to take that, and we're going to use this transfer node and it's going to come out of there so block here for now put our barrel right here and it should take the zombie flesh and automatically put it into the barrel which is 90 percent full and is now decomposing which is good go ahead and break that off now we're going to take a hopper let's see let's put the hopper right here and they'll put a chest right here and it should automatically feed the dirt in here so we should have dirt in just a few minutes so let's go ahead. right now we're at where are we 42 percent so we, in just a few seconds we should have some dirt i will get the other dirt and bring it over here in just a few minutes so that will automatically compose now if i want to i could also take the zombie 
uh, brains and also feed it in here. But you know, right now I think the rotten flesh will be enough. Let's see how we're coming here. We are now. At 97, 98, 99, so now should have dirt down here. There we go. We have automated the dirt. All right, my friends. Whoa. All right, my friends. That ends today's episode. And that should end everything that we're going to do this mob spawner for now. I'm not sure if there's any more. Oh, oh, we will do one more upgrade to it when we get to the wither skeletons. We'll use something to pull the skeletons out and use some witch water to make the wither skeletons. That will be coming up in future episodes when we need the, the, the skulls. But that's as far as I think we're going to do on this one. Next few episodes, I'm not sure where we're going to go. We might start going to Tinker's Construct. We might look into the book and try to get a lot of the stuff done in the book. I'm not really sure. But we'll see. <laughs> You'll see. We'll see. Real soon. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Again, if you see something you like, please give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. All right. It's been fun. Have a great day, guys. Bye.